Hello and welcome to this small demonstration video where I'll show you how to configure the Brothers and RTU32 running the IC68170-101 slave. First I'll start by opening the Excel sheet which is used for configuration of the 101 slave driver. The Excel sheet consists of several worksheets but on this we'll concentrate on the main variables and the 101 slave. First go to the main and then I'll just tap in where to save my project on the PC. We'll call this station like this. Then configure the IP address of the RTU32. And here I can choose the program type 101 etc. Master slave. In this case it's a 101 slave. Then I'll just give my station zero. Now I've done the configuration in the main worksheet. I'll go to the variables. Here I'll define my different single point, double points and measured values. So first I have a local remote. I have a door. Door switch. AC. So apply monitor. DC supply monitor. I have a valve position. I have a flow and a temperature. And I have also a control valve. So next thing to do is to specify the signal type. In this case it's a single point. Double point for the valve position. Flow, it is a normalized measured value. And here it is a command double point. Now I have to specify a variable name. In this case I use the name convention digital input module 0 bit 0. Four. This is actually a double point, so it's using two variables. I can decide to specify the variable name by myself or the general automatically take the di0 underscore 4 and then make it an underscore 2. So, but I will just say like this. And this is an analog input, module 0, first analog input, like this. Then to specify the COE. One 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 one. Here we have digital output. Digital output one. So now I have to specify the I way. So one. The time tag size will be using seven bytes for select execute. We can enable the select execute for commands. We'll just have this to force in this case. And the priority will have this for the measured values one measured values configuration. We can put in a threshold for when how much the uh, analog value should change before sending a spontaneous message. We'll have a 5%. We'll have no cyclic sending. And then the resolution. Because the analog input is located directly on the Brothers and RTU 32 is 14 bits. So like this. The next thing to do is to specify a profile. Here we are binding the variables to the hardware on the RTU32. We can choose between digital input output, analog input output, sequence of events and a straton. In this case it's a digital input. Just like this. And this is an analog input. Here 
a digital output. Next thing to do is to specify the module. The, all the digital inputs is located on the RTU32, so it is on module one, 0. The analog input channels is one module for each channel, so the first analog input is on module 1, the next one is on, sorry, on 0, the next one is on module 1, and etc. Digital output is 0. Then I have to specify the I.O. type. Digital input analog input, digital output, analog output. So, digital input, analog input, and digital output. The data type, here we have input bit, input word, input double word, output bit, output word, output double word. In this case, it's a input bit. Here, a input word and a output bit. Then the bit number, the first one is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In this case, it actually has two digital inputs. I can choose to add the profile by myself, or the general will automatically take the next number. So in this case, we'll just leave it empty, and the uh, general will automatically take bit number 5 for the second digital input. In this case here, no need to specify the bit, because it's an analog input. Here for the is the first. Here again, just leave this empty, it will take the next one. But for the analog input, I can do the scaling, 14 bits. So, now I configure my single point, double point, and my measured values, and the receive double command. So I'll have to configure my 101 slave. Here I set my link address to 1. And here I can decide if, for example, if I'm using a modem, I can select the MCOM1. This means that it's a modem connected to the COM1 on the RTU32. Then I have to choose to use the dial function. And then I can put in the telephone number separated by a semicolon. But in this demonstration, we have just a null modem cable, which like this. False. So, now we are actually done configuring the driver. So, now I'll start the generator. Here I can choose, for example, just download the program after compilation directly to the RTU32. So this option. Here I can choose to use the active Excel sheet, or I can browse for one, and then I can also browse for several, so you can download to several RTU32s. But we'll just take like this, start the compilation, the generation, and then afterwards the compilation of the program. Now we'll start downloading. So now the program is downloaded into the Brothers and RTU32. We'll stop this. And we'll just add another program to test if it's working. So, 101 master. Here, come near, connect. So, here, I'll send a general interrogation. We have our values. Then I will try changing some of the digital input on the RTU. Here we got an event and off again. And then I will try changing the analog inputs.